Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Shiny from Blamdishes India. Hope all of you are doing great. You had a great Diwali and Bhai Dooj or Bhai Fota. I had a great time with my friends and family as well and I hope you had too. And now that all festivities are over, I'm sure you will find some time to watch this video. And if you are, thank you so much for tuning in. So if you're new to my channel, a very warm welcome. And if you have not clicked the subscribe button yet, what are you waiting for? Just do it. <laughs> and this video is all about this clamped up look. It is a cut, cut crease, warm, gold, you know, type of a crazy smoky look. I absolutely love how this turned out. It's so wearable and I actually wore this to a invitation you can do it as well so if you're interested to see how i cut this look you need to keep on watching that's my baby bear face i'm going to start off with my eyes first i'm going to prep my eyes with the mac paint pot and painterly this is a, a concealer type of a base which just cleans out and evens out my eye surface and you know makes the other eyeshadows pop a lot better so I'm going to use my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette for this look this is a gorgeous palette it has so many beautiful colors warm colors and blues and all that so I'm going to start off with this soft brown color and warm up my crease with small circular strokes like you see here a fluffy brush does this better I'm going to take this warmer shade warmer brown shade now and warm up my crease a little more going in same strokes like up and down to and fro and using a fluffy brush to make things look even taking this this darker brown shade and concentrating it on the upper crease area like you can see taking this dark chocolate you know the darkest brown I would say in the palette and putting it or concentrating it more towards the outer V and slightly winging the eyeshadow out like you know drawing the shape of my eye with that next I'm going to take this concealer in a small angular brush and draw out my crease meanwhile I have done my eyebrows like you can see so that the definition of the eye looks better so I'm going to cut out my crease, you know, go in small strokes at a time and don't look very wide open while you're doing this so that um, it does not um, stick to the upper part of your eye, rather the upper lids of your eye. So use a concealer which dries out quite quick. So I'm using the LA Pro concealer, it dries out quite quick. I'm going to keep my eyes shut for some time so that it dries down. I'm going to take this soft golden shade from the palette. It's a shimmery shade. I'm using a damp brush just to get the intensity right. So I'm going to put it all over the place where I have used the cut crease uh, concealer. And that's the beautiful shine it gives. So when that's done, I'm going to take a soft blending brush and blending out the edges with the brown color which I initially used to warm up my crease. I'm taking the Jua Cosmetics Skinny Dip Palette and using this soft gold color right on the middle, on the center right above my eyeballs so that it gives an extra dimension and shine when I close my eyes or when the light strikes my eyes. So it gives that beautiful shine to my eyes. Now I've put on some false lashes and my eyes are partially complete. I'm going to start off with my face. I'm going to prep my face with this Colourpop Amethyst uh, Priming Spray and I absolutely love this. It makes so many foundations work so much better on my skin. It's a little sticky when you first spray and massage it and that's how it makes other foundations work on my skin. It just layers on so perfectly. I'm using this NARS uh, foundation. I'm going to uh, link the shade below but I'm in the shade Punjabi or Punjab I believe and I'm going to blend that in with my YBP perfecter this is the makeup sponge I live and die with I am absolutely obsessed with this sponge 
and blending is my cardio so I'm just blending all of that into my face taking a little pump more to put it on my forehead on and on the areas where it needed a little more coverage for my concealer I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape concealer because I'm going full glam so I need full coverage this is um, a full coverage mind-blowing fantastic concealer this is the best concealer on earth I would say and I'm going to blend that in as well and I'm going to set my face next no sorry I'm going to contour my face I'm going to do this contour stick from Nika I'm going to put it on the areas where I need to create the shadow on my cheekbones on my jawline and on my nose this is going to give my face a dimension and a sharpness which is why I'm using a cream contour first and blending it again with my sponge For my bronzer, I'm going to use this BAM Cosmetics Bahama Mama Bronzer. This is my absolute favorite bronzer. The shade is perfect for the Indian skin and it gives such a nice color to your face. So I'm going to use that to cover up areas where I've done the cream contouring. For my face, I'm going to use the Benai Banana Powder. This is also my absolute favorite. I'm using all my favorite things for this video. I don't know why, but I wanted to get into full glam makeup. And I obviously lo love to use my the products which suit my skin the best. So I'm going to use this powder all on the areas where I've used the concealer and the foundation. I'm going to clean up my contour with this powder as well. Like so. Baking is so much needed because I'm, I had to go out for a long day after this as in a long event and I knew I'm going to do some jumping and dancing so I had to keep my face sealed. That is why I'm doing some baking which I generally skip on regular days. I know I look like a ghost but don't worry it's going to get blended. And now for my lower lash line I'm using the same colors which I used on the crease just to warm up and give some dimension to the lower lash line. I'm just putting it together with the low upper lash line to give it a complete look and for the inner corners I'm using this silver shade from the Skinny Dip palette to give my eyes a opening pop. Then I'm going to take this Kylie blush. This is my absolute favorite and this is in the shade Hopeless Romantic. It is a beautiful shade on the Indian skin tone. I'm going to brush off the excess powder on my face since my baking is done. I'm back with my clothes. I know you must be thinking that this girl was looking like a jopper patti in the previous clip and this clip she looks so much better. I know accessories, your hair and your dress can make you look so much better. So I'm going to highlight using some champagne pop on my face for that extra bling. And for my lipstick, I'm going to use my Kylie lipstick in the shade Bauji and I love this shade. This is such a, you know, ethnic shade. I would say it goes, pairs the best with golden and shades. So I really, really, really love this uh, color. This is a deep red towards maroon. You know, that's what it looks like. It looks absolutely gorgeous on the Indian skin tone. I would highly recommend people who are wanting to buy a Kylie shade this is an absolute favorite of mine a beautiful shade this is Bauji and that's the finished look guys I hope you like this look if you like don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video share your comments and I shall be back with my next video very soon till then take care see you soon bye